What's going on today, guys? Slogan with Card Poppers here, back with another segment of Card of the Day. So today, I'm kind of gonna go random here and just pick a random card. I don't want to do Hurts again. I did Hurts. I don't want to do uh, John ja Morant again. I did John ja Morant. So we're gonna go with this guy, probably my second favorite player, right here. Devonte Smith. You can see how that kind of pops in and out like that. It's kind of a cool little setup I got here. You can see all the cards here. We got probably about, I would say there's probably 50, 60 cards here, but we're going with this card. This is definitely a hard to find card because this Prism Silver Auto, let me get my hand out of the way of the camera. This Prism Silver Auto of Devonte Smith. So this is graded at 10 by PSA. I believe these are like a really low gem rate. I think the gem rate on a Devontae Smith Silver Prism, just a regular prism, not even an autograph, is probably around 10 to 15, 25%. I had to look exactly at the report and see exactly what the gem rate is. And when I mean, when I say gem rate, I mean the chance of when you grade this car through PSA, what it gets, the chance of it getting a 10. I'm guessing it's pretty low because Prism from this 2021 year had really bad gem rates. I think a Trevor Lawrence Prism Silver PSA 10, it had like a 7% chance to gem. So all in all, you'd grade that card 100 times, 93 times, it's not gonna get a 10. So very low gem rate. But this guy right here, I believe I looked it up, it's like a pop six or nine. And the reason that is, is there's a ton graded through SGC, a lesser known grading company. And actually their tens, their tens tend to uh, garner less interest than PSA, so those, those SGC 10s don't get quite as much love as a PSA 10 like this guy right here. And being a pop nine is a pretty sought after card. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of nines. I don't know about eight, so there's a bunch of nines of this card. And the reason that there's so many graded through SGC and not PSA is during the pandemic, PSA was so backed up. A lot of people chose to grade with SGC instead of grading with PSA just because they wanted to get their cards back in three weeks compared to PSA was taking sometimes up to a year to get cars back. So why wait one year when the market's going to drastically change and that player can be, you know, drastically less sought after or more sought after, but in most cases less sought after when you can wait three weeks through SGC and just get your card back. And, you know, it's not going to be worth as much as a PSA 10, but it still has at least that raw value or in like SGC, I, I feel like usually it's like double what like a raw card does is SGC 10. But without further ado, yeah, this is the guy I picked for today. I feel like Devontae Smith is his, for wide receivers, I feel like he's on the same level as a guy like T. Higgins. I think he's honestly better than T. Higgins. He's really, he's a small wide receiver, but he has great hands. He does great road running. He has really good contested catch radius too. You see him make a lot of contested catches. He draws penalties a lot too, and I think he just... Like, there'll be some days, like his counterpart, A.J. Brown, the Eagles' number one receiver, he'll get mad if he doesn't catch 10 passes for 150 yards or gets a bunch of targets. Devontae Smith is not really like that. I feel like he, not that A.J. Brown isn't a team player, but Devontae Smith just really, if he gets zero catches and blocks and springs like a big play for somebody else, I feel like he's happy and content with that. He doesn't really care as much about stats. And getting the ball, I feel like he's more concerned about winning the games. And it's just, that's kind of the player I want to invest in is somebody who is more worried about winning and competing every day. They're more worried about personal stats over team stats. But Devontae Smith, he was drafted first round by the Eagles in 2021. They kind of messed up the draft before. They took Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson. And we all know how Justin Jefferson turned out. Probably going to go down as one of the best receivers in the history of the NFL. But Devontae Smith, sneakily, probably a top, I would say he's probably a top 25, top 15 receiver. And a lot of people think he's going to make a big leap pretty soon here and be like a top 10, top 5 guy. It hasn't happened yet. He's had kind of a slow start. At least not a slow start, but a slow last couple games for 2023. But all in all, he has all the tools to get there. I really think he's just a stand-up guy. And he, he just, he's a player that I want to invest in. His cards are relatively cheap compared to some of the quarterbacks. I think he has really big upside for the price of his cards. I think I paid like 225 bucks for this card. I really think it's like a $300, $350 card. It's a gem 10. 
it's like I said, pop six or nine, whatever it is, it's really low pop. So it's a really cool card to have. And yeah, that's my card of the day, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.